Hi guys, welcome to All Just Money Brews. I'm Karen. And I'm Robert. And we're, like she mentioned, talking about financial freedom over the brew of the day, which today is orange juice for me. What is it for you? It's just apple juice today. Cheers. Cheers. So last time during our uh, video, we talked about financial freedom. Right. And uh, we discussed this idea that financial advisors really are for anybody. Um, and so what, you know, in, in, in this environment, which is kind of confusing sometimes, especially yeah. for young people, uh, we don't know. We think that when we think of financial advisor, we might think of someone older or someone that would be helping someone older get to retirement. Mm -hmm. um, can you kind of maybe unpack the idea of what a financial advisor is? Who can get an, a financial advisor? Um, can anybody get a financial advisor? Yeah, it is such a great question because it, there's such a misconception and shame on us because I think part of it is the industry that has perpetuated that problem. But when I think of a financial advisor and I think of any type of advisor, it'd be like saying if you walked into a doctor's office, right? And you said, hey, I need help. And the doctor's like, all right, well, when your cholesterol is good and your weight's in check, then come on back and visit me. Mm -hmm. That's just not the way it works, right? You don't go to a physician when you're healthy. You go to a physician because you want to become healthy. And financial advising is no different, right? If it has a dollar sign in front of it and you have a question about it, then who better to talk about it with than a financial advisor? Does that make sense to you? It does make sense, but you know, at the same time, I feel like there is there are so many people that call themselves financial advisors so when I'm trying to decide who can I go to to talk to I feel like I'm gonna either get sold something and I'm not really getting advice I'm just telling someone's gonna tell me well this is what you need right. and this is why you should buy this and it's like well that's not really why even I came here what if I need something basic like help me with my budget right yeah that's a really good point yeah, for me, and, and I think for you as well, I would, I would imagine, to be an advisor is to help people work through their sticking points, right? I think we get too caught up at, you know, what, how much money do I need? How much income should I have? How much will my expenses be? And those things are definitely all really important, right? It's kind of like getting your blood work. It's, it helps understand your financial situation. But what about the the attitude of feeling comfortable in your financial skin, right? We've talked about shame in the past, but what about confidence? How do you feel empowered with the decisions that you're making? Advising is about giving you a framework or a process or a thinking partner to collaborate on these questions with, help you move beyond that point where you're stuck and elevate yourself to a different status. And then you can move into an attitude of feeling comfortable financially and feeling financially healthy well and you know you you mentioned this this concept of shame and when it comes to money we are just so afraid of telling other people right. how we spend our money and how we make decisions based on money and obviously there's a lot of of, of that involved and you want to make sure that you find someone that you are able to openly talk to freely and yeah. in a trustworthy manner because it is like you know we said it all the time it's like getting naked in front of yeah. somebody and and so you want to make sure that the other person understands you and it's not gonna make you feel ashamed or judged um, no do, what do you think judgment. about that yeah. that's such a it's such a good point because when you're in those four walls of an office speaking with a client there's a certain amount of privacy that must be maintained but then there's also got to be the sense of feeling that you can openly express yourself both the things that you're having a challenge with and also the things that you want to accomplish it's okay to dream about things that don't feel realistic today because until you utter those things into existence those words those ideas you're never going to be taking any action towards it so i think it's really important that yeah it's a safe place to just sort it all out free from judgment knowing that you're walking away better than you walked in it, and I agree so much with that and then also with the fact that you feel like you want to feel that the other person has your back and it's yes. going to walk you along, yes. it's going to tell you where you're going to go, it's going to kind of tell you I can hold your hand if you need me right. to Right. Um, and point. we're going to get there together. Right? It's because like it's a just, journey. It's a journey. It's a journey sure. and it's like you go on a hike, you do anything in life, you're on a journey and you want to know that someone is lockstep with you 
helping you identify those blind spots so you can get there free from a lot of the trouble that hangs people up. So I hope this conversation helps you figure out what a financial advisor uh, is and how they can help you reach your financial freedom. Absolutely. Let us know what you think. Let us know what questions you have because this is an ongoing process. And again, together we're going to be empowered and we just want you to feel comfortable making decisions moving forward. Thank you. We are superheroes. We act like them too. <laughs> we, we should get a cane. We want to break the shackles <laughs> of financial norms. <laughs> Release you from your cage. We could actually of have limitations. Yeah, actually, okay. It's all about mindset. It's expanding. Like a little, yeah. a little free at last. Hey, anyway, that could be a good intro. Uh, yeah, that could be a Christmas video. Welcome to Algen's Money Bruce. <laughs> freedom fans. <laughs> fans of freedom. Do, 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 do. I know, seriously, what? It goes with the theme. It does go with the it theme. It goes with the theme. Fans, we're superheroes. It's all related.